you have the same amount of fat cells almost your entire life. The fat cells just get bigger and smaller, usually just bigger. You have connective tissue that holds your skin onto your body. Cellulite can come from your fat cells being too big and or the connective tissue not stretching, creating the dimpled appearance. But often, cellulite is a toxic condition of the body combined with swelling and lack of circulation. The toxins often cause the connective tissue to become stiff and inflexible, causing the cellulite appearance. Thin people can have cellulite because of this. Cellulite normally doesn't respond to diet and exercise programs. Eight out of ten women have cellulite, as well as many men. To get rid of cellulite, you have to get rid of the toxins and either break the connective tissue or shrink the fat cells. Breaking the connective tissue hurts, just like tearing a ligament in your body because the connective tissue are little ligaments. The lipo laser was designed to shrink the fat cells. The laser light targets the fat cells, causing them to open up and release the fat contents. Then, the fat cells are left smaller and the appearance of cellulite often reduces or even disappears completely, naturally, safely, and without any pain. Energy is applied to the selected area only. Specific ultrasound parameters of pulse length and energy level ensure selective damage to fat cells only. Non-adipose tissue, not being susceptible to these parameters, remains untouched and undamaged. Built-in controls verify acoustic contact and monitor transducer temperature during treatment. The ultrasound wave causes mechanical disruption of fat cell membranes. The content, primarily made up of triglycerides, is released into the interstitial fluid where they are processed by physiological metabolic pathways. As the cell membranes are compromised and triglycerides are released, the body begins a gradual process of breaking them down into glycerol and free fatty acids. The free fatty acids bind to albumin and are slowly transported to the liver for removal or into other tissues and used as building blocks or energy. Glycerol, being water-soluble, is passed among both interstitial and systemic fluids, then processed through the liver or used in other cells. The entire process takes less than a week.